Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. If you haven't seen Game of Thrones, I need you to stop watching this video right now and go see it. Come on, you got time. Go squeeze in 67 hours of television before this Sunday's finale. The rest of you can continue watching. For real though, if you don't watch Game of Thrones, then you'll be missing out on the biggest television event of this decade. I'm telling you, years from now, your kids are going to ask you where you were when the series finale of Game of Thrones aired on HBO. True story. If you couldn't tell, obviously I'm very excited about the Game of Thrones finale, and that's because I believe it'll be a historic moment in television history. A moment that, in 2019, I didn't think I'd get to experience anymore. Let me explain. So there's nothing particularly special about a series drawing up to its conclusion. But there is something to be said when that conclusion becomes so anticipated that it has earned the attention of a national and international audience. In my opinion, the series finale of Game of Thrones will go down as a television event we haven't seen since the finales of Friends, Seinfeld, or Cheers. But unlike those shows, Game of Thrones will impressively accomplish their highly rated finale under a couple of different circumstances. In this Netflix on-demand era of television, ratings, or the amount of live viewers a show receives, have been at an all-time low. That doesn't mean nobody watches television anymore, it's just the way we watch television has evolved. Gone are the days of tuning in at a specific time on a specific day and have that be the only opportunity to watch the next episode. Gone are the days if you happen to miss that episode, then you've basically accepted your fate that you would never see that episode again, unless you were blessed by the television guy with a rerun multiple years later. By being able to watch content at any time, any day, and at your own pace, watching a television series the night it airs is no longer a necessity. That's why Sunday Night Football has been the highest rated program for the past seven years, because events such as sports, singing competitions, and award shows are basically the only things you need to watch live these days. Now, only a show like Game of Thrones with the muscle to become this transcendently popular could be capable and deserving of such an anticipated conclusion. And on top of that, the show is accomplishing this through not just one paywall, but two. When your show is on cable, it immediately becomes less marketable to potential viewers because it costs money to have cable. But Game of Thrones isn't just on cable, it's on HBO, a premium cable network that you have to pay even more money after purchasing cable. I know now you can avoid all that by subscribing to HBO now, but I'm sure you still see my point. The season 7 finale of Game of Thrones had over 12 million live viewers, 16.5 million viewers when you include Night of streams, and when you count DVR recordings and more on-demand streams from later in the week, the viewership totaled at over 30 million people. Could you imagine the ratings if this show was on broadcast television? It would be otherworldly! For years I've been enthralled with television ratings and looking up which shows ranked high during certain years. You can really learn a lot about the history of American pop culture by just combing through these numbers. Maybe I'll make a video about it someday. And it was honestly this little hobby of mine that really helped me realize the opportunity the Game of Thrones finale is providing. Let's see what it's up against. In 2004, the Friends finale aired to 52.5 million people. In 1998, the Seinfeld finale aired to 76.3 million people. And in 1993, the Cheers finale aired to 84.4 million people. But none of them hold a candle to the MASH finale, which aired on February 23rd, 1983, to a whopping 105.9 million people. Now I'm not bold enough to say that Game of Thrones will surpass MASH as the highest rated television finale of all time, but I will say that in the same way our culture held these other finales in such high regard, I believe the same attention and respect will be given to the final episode of Game of Thrones. Because when we look back on the 2010s, what show do you think will first come to our minds? There's certainly been a number of great shows during the last 10 years, but in my opinion, Game of Thrones will be at the top of that list. So despite having aired during the on-demand era of television, and despite being on a premium cable network, Game of Thrones will give us the opportunity to witness one of the biggest television events of all time. So don't miss out, because I don't know when we'll get another chance to experience something like this again. If this video helped put a fresh perspective to the finale of Game of Thrones, hit that subscribe button. I make historically inspired video essays about movies, television, and animation. And if you haven't seen it, be sure to check out my last video, What Made the Disney Renaissance Era So Special Part 2, the sequel to my most popular video. 
I'm the Jaunty Professor. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.